Hey guys, my name is Sebastian Toper. I'm one of the co-founders of Domeo Sports and I head up overall product development. The Domeo is quite different than a traditional speaker in a few different ways. First of all, obviously the Domeo mounts to the outside of the helmet. And the reason for that is that you're not putting anything inside the helmet. So traditional speakers, uh, which are inserted inside the helmet, can become uncomfortable, especially after very long rides. As anyone might, might know, you get kind of the swollen ears. And they also are blocking your awareness of the outside environment because they are sort of right next to your ear. So the advantage is that you're freeing up the ears so that there's nothing right beside uh, the ears themselves. So how does micro vibration kind of work in the first place? Well, the vibration itself is generated in this device. Uh, inside basically we have something called a transducer, which is essentially like a speaker, uh, but it's designed and tuned to send uh, sound vibrations through solids. Uh, most of the sounds that we hear through conventional speakers uh, enter our ears through the air, through air vibrations. And so this is designed basically to send sound directly to, into uh, another solid, such as inside a, a helmet. And so the user who is wearing the helmet is able to basically hear the sound which kind of resonates uh, around the helmet itself. And so we're able to tune some of the vibrations to really enhance and amplify uh, the sounds and the vibrations that are heard uh, by the helmet user and the helmet wearer themselves. The loudness level of the Domeo Moto, uh, we're able to get upwards to around 103 decibels, which is pretty loud. Uh, just to give you a, a reference point, a, a jet flying over uh, at about a thousand feet in the air, decibel, the same sound level. Like a live rock concert that you're at could be anywhere between 108 to 114, so uh, just a bit above what the level that we're able to produce, so it's, it's pretty loud. And the reason we do that, of course, is to overcome some of the loud conditions from wind or engines that are obviously going to be taking place when you're traveling uh, at doing you know, 70 miles an hour on the highway. Uh, we obviously want to be able to overcome those noises as much as we can, and that's why we're able to produce uh, sound uh, at that level, you know, if you want to play it at that level. So our first generation of Moto Pro devices, which enable uh, users to communicate with each other, uh, we've decided to use cellular connection via an app on the phone. Uh, the reason we did that is we wanted to free up the ability for people to talk pretty much from anywhere. Um, because you're connected by cellular network, you could be cruising down a highway in Arizona, uh, talking with your aunt in Seattle, and your friends could be three kilometers back and you're still able to talk with them as well uh, simply because you're all connected by, by app and you don't have the line of sight issues which are customary for many traditional solutions which need direct line of sight between devices. Okay, so now I'm going to talk a bit about our mounting mechanism that we use to uh, attach Domeo to a helmet. So every mount comes with a double-sided 3M adhesive, uh, the same one that's used on many other products like a, like a GoPro. Uh, so it's quite strong and it's meant to stay attached to the helmet in all kinds of weather and temperature conditions. Now the plastics themselves that are used in the mount are strong polycarbonate plastics uh, to make sure that it can withstand the force of applying the Domeo onto the helmet and ensure that uh, it stays on your helmet, uh, which is wh where you want it to be. The mount itself uses two sort of uh, spring clips and uh, it's a way for the product to be uh, inserted, basically as a one way, like this, and to make sure that it doesn't uh, fall out. Uh, so even if there is a bit of an impact, like a branch or something that might hit the, the product, the, the Domeo, uh, it's going to be uh, uh, mounted and stay mounted on the on the helmet. Mount also has a feature in which it applies a downward force uh, onto the helmet itself so that when you're inserting it you ensure that there's good physical contact between uh, the bottom face uh, of the Domeo and the helmet shell itself and that ensures very good audio quality uh, so that you can hear all the sound inside the helmet.